Hi guys, are we ready for some football tonight? I'm anxiously awaiting getting into uh, our new 2017 Elite Football. But first up, we have a couple little things to take care of. Um, number one, of course, is our nightly random. If you haven't done a break with me before, I do a random uh, every night that we break and the prizes change uh, from month to month. It just kind of depends. This month, what we have done is the winner from the nightly random is moving on to a break. This is called, it's a customer appreciation break and uh, it's called Lucky You. This will be the second time we've done Lucky You. So this is Lucky You part two. And uh, you'll see here, everybody who's already in the break, we'll scroll down and take a look in case somebody has forgotten that they're in there. So we've been doing it all month. So what this means, if you get in the break tonight, is that you come back on Saturday, this Saturday, and we'll do a little break where I buy the products and you guys don't pay anything and you'll get a chance to win the hits out of it. So we'll do that uh, either as, maybe we'll do it as a hits draft, maybe we'll do it by random.org. We'll decide that on Saturday. But anyway, let's move forward now and uh, let's figure out who's going to be in for tonight. So this is the list of everyone who is in any of the breaks tonight, because we do have three products we're breaking. So this is the complete bidder list of everybody for the evening. And we're just going to jump over here into random and put all this in there and see who comes out of it tonight. Well, Richard, hey, maybe you're going to get in there tonight, right? I just see you pop in and chat. How you doing, man? Um, you know, I haven't, I'm going to send the people who are in it, I'll send a message uh, by way of eBay tomorrow with the time that we're going to do it on Saturday. Right now I'm leaning towards, uh, like six, seven o'clock, something like that, but I haven't quite 100% uh, decided on that yet. All right. So Rick D 74, Rick D 74 is going in for tonight. So let's just jump back over here and type that in there before I forget to do it. I think I said 74. If I didn't, I'll fix that part later, but that'll be enough to let me know who it is anyway. So congratulations, Rick D 74 you are in. Now tonight, let's uh, go back and take a look at uh, what we've got coming up. As soon as I can get the last spreadsheet closed and get our new spreadsheet open, we'll be in good shape. All right, so first up tonight is a 2017 Gold Rush autographed mini football helmet. I barely got that out. And, uh, oh, Rick, Rick, is that you that got in? <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't you. Oh, man. Okay, you. I, I thought maybe you really had that there for a second when that popped up in jet. You're just giving me a hard time. <laughs> All right, so this is one box of 2017 Gold Rush Autograph Mini Football Helmet Break Number 4 for this particular product. Our end date is always uh, up there. That was tonight, our live stream schedule. Of course, that's also tonight, right now. Team names are down the left, winning bitter names across from them. I do normally break in the order that things end on eBay. So we have the Mini Helmet tonight. Then we have the one box of uh, 2015 Lux football, and then we will be rolling from there right into our uh, elite football break. Now, I know, guys, that the uh, focus is a little uh, less than sharp right now, and that's because I take autofocus off for the break, so the camera's not constantly searching, trying to focus. And I always have it set up to view, uh, to be a good view for the cards. So, you know, the background stuff is, is usually a little bit out of focus. This is going to make somebody happy. Jared, you finally got one, man. You've been trying to get one of these for a while, and we just pulled one for you. There is Ed Too Tall Jones coming out for the Cowboys. So congratulations, Jared. That one is coming home to Texas for you. All right, so we're happy about that. Good good news for the Cowboys. I know you probably would have, you know, I know you still want Dak and Zeke, but I think you're probably happy with Ed Too Tall Jones as well. At least I hope you are. So see, that was quick. 
That was a quick and easy little break, and that's going to roll us right into um, our next break, which is one box of 2015 Lux Football. And this is um, this is break number one for this. We've broken some Lux basketball, and I guess I guess this is the first time I've I've done Lux football. Sometimes we've opened them before, but they've been as part of a mixer, and so if it were an individual box, it would still be listed as first time. But I think this is literally the first time I've opened 2015 Lux football. So looking forward to that. We always have, uh, Lux always has such good stuff in it. Whether it's basketball, football, or otherwise, I like the product. And, oh, really, Richard, you said Ed Tutal Jones was signing in your area last week? That's pretty cool. We had Steve Carlton signing here this uh, today, actually, I think it was. Some new store opening brought in Steve Carlton to sign. Of course, he was a Philly, and we pulled a Steve Carlton signed jersey the other day as well. All right, so first out for the Dolphins to 99, Jay Ajayi, or Ajayi, whichever way it's supposed to be. I always say it the opposite of the way it's supposed to be. And you know, I've been pulling a ton of him lately, just an absolute ton of him. And there is another one. So nice hit for the Dolphins. Our framed, first framed here is Devin Smith for the Jets. And, of course, another on-card auto and a nice little piece of fabric there. And this one looks like the frame's in fairly good condition. Um, you know, one of the things you have to watch out for with Lux is the frames will sometimes be kind of I don't know, less than mint, I guess is the way to say it. Right out of the pack, sometimes they're a little dicey, but that one didn't look to be too bad. This is numbered to 25, and it's for the Bears. Kevin White coming out for the Bears to 25. Nice low number on that one. Next out, we have a nice patch for uh, Mike Davis, 49ers to 49. That's nice. 49ers, numbered 40 of 49. Only thing that would have made it better is if it had been numbered 49 to 49. There's our Mike Davis, and we're going to wrap this up with Zach Ertz for the Eagles, and that is numbered to 24 on Zach Ertz for the Eagles. And you know what I'm going to do, guys? I think something about the lighting is kind of weird tonight i want to try something here i'm just going to lower the angle a little bit and i want to see if there's less reflection on the cards does that make the card easier to see for you or is it about the same i'm just trying to figure out the light seems to be bouncing uh, more than normal tonight is that angle better worse or the same in terms of uh the ability to see the card well, at any rate, we'll recap this really quickly while you guys are letting me know about that in chat. This is Kevin White for the Bears, followed by Devin Smith for the Jets, Zach Ertz for the Eagles, Mike Davis for the Niners, and Jay Ajay for the Dolphins. All right, guys, so let's... Uh, set this down on our sorting mat and it is time to get the big case up on the table and that is going to be our Don Russ Elite football case and we're going to do half a case tonight so if you would like to jump into chat anyone and say if you prefer left half right half top half whatever um, somebody let me know and we'll go that route and again, we've got six boxes. That makes half a case. 2017 Don Russ Elite Football. Half case break number one. This just came out yesterday. And we'll scroll down through here and give everybody a chance to see their name and lights next to their team. And hopefully we're going to pull some nice things out of here. Uh, I actually like Elite quite a bit. And you normally get some pretty good hits in Elite. So here's hoping that we... Uh, we pull some some for you tonight. <laughs> Richard says in chat that he wants the half of it. Whichever half of the case has all the cowboys. 
That's funny. Aaron, you're saying right half of the case. All right, man. We're going to go to the right. Oh, actually, you know what? The way this is stacked, it's not going to work either. Because there's, uh, there's only going to be... All right, well, in that case... You know we have to go to plan B, which is we'll just take them all out, number them up, and let random uh, decide which ones we're going to open because it wasn't technically a right-left kind of situation. <laughs> was going to leave us with not enough boxes, so there might... Yeah, well, you know, we do it through random sometimes anyway, so... We'll just do that again tonight. I'm just going to stack them all up so that I can number them. And then we will let uh, random.org tell us which ones to get into tonight. And whatever doesn't go out tonight, of course, will go in the second half of the break, which I think maybe I have scheduled for Saturday. I start to say Saturday, but it might be Sunday. It's either Saturday or Sunday. I don't really entirely remember which. But I think it's coming up pretty soon. I didn't wait too long anyway. And from what I have been told, um, Elite is sold out at Panini. Of course, there's obviously lots of places that still have it, but sold out at Panini. Anyway, so... All right, that gives us 10, 8, 1, 11, 12, and 3. And I was just writing those down so that uh, I could retain them. All right, 10, 8, 11, 12, 1, and 3. 1 and 3. I made a mess of that. All right, so let me get these others back in their box. And then we'll be getting ready to roll. I don't know if any of you um, follow baseball or not, but Trey Turner uh, got his wrist broken today for the Nationals, which I was really sorry to hear about. He's, you know, he's a good young player, and from, I didn't see it myself, but from what I heard, it was a pretty nasty little break, so that's unfortunate for Trey Turner and the Nationals. And I, also, I don't know, if, probably you've heard this even if you do not follow basketball, but Jimmy Butler, you know, was traded recently from the Bulls to the Timberwolves. And so he was being introduced in Minnesota uh, at a news conference today. And, of course, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people always have something to say about famous people. Not always good things to say, but I guess a lot of people had things to say about Jimmy Butler and his, uh, his move. He really didn't want to be transferred or, or traded. I don't know why I said transferred. He didn't really want to be traded. He wanted to stay in Chicago. Anyway, in his news conference today, he gave out his mobile phone number, like his actual cell phone number, <laughs> and just told people to, uh, if they had anything they wanted to say to him, good, bad, or otherwise, just call his cell phone. <laughs> I was like, that is crazy. So then you know that he's probably already had to change his phone number, and if he hasn't, he'll be having to change it probably pretty soon, because that's... <laughs> You can only imagine how many millions of calls and messages he has gotten by now. Insanity. But that's confidence for you. And that's cell phone number. <laughs> oh, I don't know if the phone number is no longer uh, any good or not, Richard. I, I don't know. I mean, earlier today it was working. When he gave it out, it was working. I don't know if it's if it has been disconnected since then. I mean, maybe. I don't know. All right, and then I see that Aaron and Elias are both in need of big hits, they're saying. 
and Richard says he is feeling lucky. And, uh, oh no, he's saying he wants to feel lucky that he usually doesn't have good hits. Well, then let's try to turn that around for you, Richard. Let's see what we can do about that tonight, man. What is his phone? What is the phone number? Oh man, I don't know, but Google it. It's everywhere. Um, it starts with 770 or 773 or something. I don't know, but if you Google it, like it's everywhere. And I first saw it today in an article that uh, USA Today had put up online because they had tried to call him. And when they called him, uh, his voicemail was full. But it, it played back, you know, the message that his outgoing message was. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's been pretty entertaining. Well, yeah, Richard, look it up and call him and see what happens. Tell us if, tell us if his uh, number is still working or not. Still working uh, phone number. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started here with Elite. Now that we have all the first the first group out of its box, let's take a look and see what we can find. Now, of course, uh, well, look at that. Right off the bat, we've got our first signature. This is Turn of the Century, numbered to 99, and that is a sticker auto. I had to kind of look twice at that because uh, I wasn't 100% sure, but it is a sticker auto, and that is Shelton Gibson, for the Eagles is our first hit of the night. And we'll go ahead and pull our little, you know, these little blank uh, decoy cards or dummy cards or whatever you want to call them. We'll find a bunch of those throughout as well. And there's a cowboy. There's Dak. I know we're looking for a signature or something numbered anyway, but nonetheless, that is to 85 for the Browns. The number on this one is kind of right down there in, in the area of his foot, which makes it a little bit hard to see. But it is there. Nice little insert. And if you guys uh, at any point want me to speed up, slow down, whatever, just let me know. I know we're going a little slower than I normally would through base right now, but it's because it's my first time opening this, so I'm kind of familiarizing myself with the product as well since it just came out yesterday oh you need a oh Elias is asking for a Manning auto in a Colts jersey okay that is very specific man <laughs> but I do always say put out in the universe what you want and we'll see what we can do that is Wayne Gallman to 499 We are all about trying to deliver what you guys are looking for. This is Joe Mixon to 24 on the nice little die cut there for the Bengals. We're going to set the die cut aside over here. Kind of in case we want to review the die cuts later, we'll set them off to the side. There's another cowboy home field advantage insert. For um, Dak. Oh, sorry. I do usually like to show you the front and the back of those so you guys know that there's nothing on it. There's our little materials hit Odell Beckham Jr., and that is number 213, his jersey number, of course. So that is three of 13, and the jersey, of course, is in the little die cut there. You have a little bit of chipping and wear down on your edges and corners, but that again, pretty pretty normal. Nothing uh, nothing outrageous. So the Giants are on the board with the Beckham materials hit. T.Y. Hilton to 99 for the Colts. And an insert, uh, Tidal Waves, DeAndre Hopkins for the Texans. I tell you what, rather than stack those back there and just make a big giant stack that's likely to fall over, I'm going to go right ahead and stack them on the sorting mat. As we'll, we'll do them like a stack about that size and then we'll move them to the sorting mat each time. I think that's the better way to take care of them.
That is to $4.99 for the Lattimore. That is another one of our little decoy cards. Face to face. Tell you what, with the glare coming off of these, the angle that I hold them for you to be able to see them well on the camera glares that light right into my eye. <laughs> so, and of course, you know, my vision, there's a little Trubisky with Julius Peppers. My vision is uh, less than ideal anyway because of that eye surgery. And when the light hits it, sometimes I have trouble seeing on these reflective surfaces. So I will tell you now, if I miss one that is numbered and I, and I miss calling it out uh, during the broadcast, I apologize. They're hard for me to see at the moment the way the light is hitting. But obviously, if you see it go by, you're going to get it because every card ships. So our Pen Pals autograph are Darius Stewart for the Jets out of that one. It's a nice little Deshaun Watson rookie elitist insert. There is Derek Carr to 149. And a die cut for Christian McCaffrey. Does that say to 24? Yeah, Christian McCaffrey to 24 on that die cut. For the Panthers. Travis Kelsey to 99. You can kind of catch that one's numbered right over in that area. There's lots and lots of parallels in Elite. Of course, I'm sure you guys probably know that. I'd say the majority of you have opened Elite before. Oh, so the phone number is... Uh... <laughs> oh, the phone number, Jimmy Butler's phone number is disconnected. <laughs> oh, well... Well, I mean, I, like I said, I cannot even imagine how many, um, how many zillions of phone calls and texts and whatever he got in the short time frame after he announced it to now. I, I mean, it was probably just unbelievable. I actually even sent the guy a text myself. <laughs> it was still working when I sent the text. That's been a while back, but... <laughs> But yeah, I was like, that was pretty crazy. I, I, you'll have to go back and watch the clip if you haven't seen it yet. It was it's pretty interesting. Because he's just like, yeah, my phone's in my back pocket right now. So if you have something to say to me, here's the number. You just call me up and tell me. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I instantly became a huge Jimmy Butler fan. Like, instantaneously, I became a fan of Jimmy Butler. It was, it was, it was Pretty awesome move on his part, I have to say. Pretty gutsy move. T.Y. Hilton to 99. There's Zeke. Our autograph here, numbered to 49, and that is Matthew Days for the Browns to 49. Yeah, I don't know too many people that would. I, I mean, obviously, I guess uh, that is, what is that number? To 299 on the J.J. Watt fired up insert. I don't know too many celebrities or sports figures or whatever, however you want to phrase it, of that level of fame who would just be like, yeah, here's my number, call me up. <laughs> Home field advantage for Cam Newton. There is Dak to 149. Carson Wentz to 
149. Another, I uh, guess we're probably going to start seeing lots of Dak and Zeke in the base cards these days. Now that they're not rookies anymore. Oh, that's a really nice patch. Uh, Jamius Winston Pro Bowl, uh, part of his Pro Bowl uniform. Nice three-color patch, numbered to 75, 59 of 75 on the Jamius Winston materials. All right. Hard to believe that we are almost into July, isn't it? Can't believe that the month has gone by as quickly as it has. And we've got, gosh, I think we've got football coming out almost every week in July, except the first week, because uh, that's on the 5th, the day after the holiday. And that's actually a basketball release. That's Excalibur basketball on the 5th. But then on the 12th, we have Gold Standard Football. If you guys aren't familiar with Gold Standard Football, you should um, take a look. at Because it hasn't been in football since uh, 2011. And it was only in that one year. So take a look, you know. Pull up, uh, pull up some completed listings or something on eBay. Or you can take a look at any of the gold standard basketball breaks because it has been constant in basketball. They didn't ever, you know, have it and then go away from it. They've kept it throughout in basketball. And take a look at the card design. I think you'll like it if you're not familiar with it already. And of course, there's always good rookie content in gold standard. You uh, always have a nice rookie jersey autograph in those boxes and I'm, I would imagine they're going to do the same thing with football. So I'm looking forward to that coming out because gold standard is so much fun to open as it always has low numbered nice hits in it or generally speaking low numbered nice hits. There is another Tidal Waves and that of course is Zeke. Some of those are numbered and some are not. And since, again, this is my first time to open it along with you, I'm flipping them over to try to figure out which are which. That is to $4.99. That is to $1.49. Whoops, I thought, I guess so. I thought something had stuck to the back of that there for a minute. Oh, boy. Oh. Thank goodness we caught Jordan Howard before he got away from us there. He was trying. J.J. Watt and Derek Watt, college titles. And a spellbound insert. Julio Jones numbered to 299. There's another Zeke, Spellbound, that is numbered to 49, 49 of 49, I always like when they're the first in the series and the last in the series, so that's a nice little hit for Zeke. So whoever was looking for some Cowboys, yeah, you've got a few so far. Oh, Leonard Fournette, Rookie Elitist. And is that, oh man, look at that. Right there on the back, it's it's uh, got a big piece of the card chipped off on the back. That's a drag. I mean, that's right out of the pack like that. Well, it is not numbered, but still, it's a nice card, and I wish that weren't on the back. But something happened to it somewhere along the way when it was getting packed up, apparently. Our pen pals autograph from this box, Deshaun Watson. Boom. There you go. There's a nice hit, Texans, with your Deshaun Watson uh, on-card auto. Would like for that to have been numbered, but still pretty happy with that, I think. I imagine the Texans are.
Oh, so, um, Richard, that's you that's got the Cowboys in this break. Okay. All right. So you're having a little bit of luck then. There's McMillan to four ninety nine. We're heading in the right direction for you anyway. That is to one forty nine for the Browns. That is to one forty nine for the Vikings with the Dalvin Cook. We pulled one of his signed Jerseys, I think it was the other day. I started saying helmet, but I think it was his jersey. All right. Let's get in the next one. The worst part about these with lots of base cards is just getting all the packs open, right? Because, like, you just want to see the cards. <laughs> like, nobody wants to take all the time to open all the packs. We just want to know what's in them instantly. Oh, Kian's dad, you have uh, you have the Texans tonight then. Excellent. Nice hit for you, man. At least I'm assuming that you have them because you are uh, you have a, a booyah in chat. <laughs> oh yeah, the jersey number um, materials hits you mean? Yeah, those are pretty cool for sure. I always like when they do anything numbered to uh, the jersey number. It just makes it a little more interesting. Oh, you also have the bears in this break, Kian's dad. Okay. So you're going after a couple of the of the big name rookies, making early investments. But I tell you, this is this is the time to do it. If you think that your player, especially if you think your player is uh, undervalued, right? I mean, if you think his potential is greater than where he was drafted or or where he's falling along the lines of collectability, then yeah, now's the time to load up before they get on the field, you know? Now, on the other hand, if your player is overvalued, and you, although who's really going to ever think that their player is worse than they're being, <laughs> than they're being valued currently, I mean, you know, then you would probably want to wait to buy it. But I don't think too many people are going to think their player is overvalued. I definitely think that some of my Steelers rookies are probably undervalued right now so I want to get into some breaks and try to pick them up but I haven't really had time lately to get into any breaks just kind of bumming me out so I'm probably just gonna have to put some bids in auction sniper and uh, let it roll you know not watch them live because I I can't stand not being in any, in any breaks I want in you're stacking the Trubiskies. Yeah, well, all right. I don't blame you, man. I mean, like I said, this is a good time of year for speculating before they before they hit the field. Especially if you buy and hold, you know. That is to 16 on the Jared Goff. And sometimes you get these things early and... You sell them, we sell them early, and we think that we've uh, done okay with them, and then you find out later, you know, the player just explodes like our, like Dak and, in particular, last year. Passing the torch, number 10 of 25, and look who's on the front side of that. I know that's not who you were looking for in here, but Jordan Howard is a nice, nice hit to 25 for the Bears. So even though you're looking for Trubisky, I think you're in pretty good shape there with Jordan Howard. I think he's going to be uh, solid this year. That is numbered to 499, I think that says. Yeah, there's a lot of Dak and Zeke in, in here so far. Is that whole stack upside down? Just a handful of them. Field vision for the Patriots. 
Tom Brady numbered to 49, 30 of 49 for the Patriots insert. That's actually a nice card. Uh, I like that card quite a bit. Another Tom Brady, back-to-back -to -back Tom Brady, fired up is numbered to 299 on that one. <laughs> you don't sell your Bears cards until they're not Bears anymore. <laughs> you know, I still keep uh, a lot of my Steelers even after they get traded or whatever. I still keep a lot of my Steelers. I still have fond memories of uh, of their playing days with us, so I generally hang on to them. Oh, here's a nice little hit for the Redskins with the Perrine. And that is also an on-card auto. Pulled him quite a bit uh, so far this year out of various products. And another for the Redskins, that is to 99 with Jordan Reed. Jonathan Allen. Ah, we may have to, let's set that one aside. We may have to deal with that one in random. I don't remember where those guys were drafted. That is 22 of 25, Des Bryant and Josh Norman. And of course, that's another one that's going to have to sit over there to go to random. This is to 299, Travis and Jason Kelsey. The other duel that we had earlier with uh, the Watts, only JJ is in the NFL, I believe, right? Which is why I did not set that aside to go into random because JJ, I believe, is I I, I realize that. TJ is, is in there. He's a Steelers rookie, but it wasn't TJ on the card, was it, with JJ? We'll go back and double-check that, but I think it was the other brother. That is to 149, in which case it would just go with JJ to the Texans. That is to 99 on the John Ross. Rookie Elitist for Jake Butt. And that, I guess, is not numbered. And I tell you what, if he comes back healthy from that injury, he's uh, he's going to be pretty solid tight end. So keep an eye on him. Julio Jones is our materials hit. Also Pro Bowl uniform. And Julio's Pro Bowl uniform is not numbered. Did I? Well, no, that's the half we looked at, right? This is the half we hadn't looked at yet. That's what I get for setting them down in the wrong spot. Just to make sure we'll buzz through this again. I'm pretty sure this is the half we looked at already, but maybe it wasn't. Because I don't remember seeing that to 149 on the Brian Hill, but maybe we did. Uh-oh, you guys are going at it as to uh, <laughs> over Jordan Howard and uh, Zeke. Is that what we're going in? Is that what you guys are going back and forth about, Jordan Howard versus Zeke? I'll tell you, Jordan Howard, he's, uh, he's good, and he's just going to keep getting better as he gets more experience. I should just set those down so they all face the same way to begin with. <laughs> uh, you guys are funny jacking each other up in Jeff there. That's what makes it fun, though, the rivalries. The back and forth debates are the fun part. Oh, uh, Elias, you're asking, is Jake Butt hurt? Yeah, the reason he was drafted where he was is he um, he uh, tore his ACL. I think it was. might have been his MCL, but I think it was his ACL. 
at the uh, end of his college career. I think it was in his bowl game, actually. might have been. Uh, if it wasn't, it was like right before his bowl game. And so, yeah, he dropped way down on the draft board because of, of that. So he would have otherwise been drafted much, much higher. And if he comes back 100% from that injury, you know, they will have gotten a bargain getting him that far down the board. Oh, yeah, man. Jake Butt is an awesome tight end. I mean, I'm sure you're making the joke because his name is Butt and he plays tight end. But that notwithstanding, the guy is an excellent player. So keep an eye on him. Because if he comes back healthy, Katie barred the door, as they say. Or maybe not everybody says Katie barred the door, but but my family did. Oh, this just seems like it's taking forever to get all these out of these packs. I just wanna I just wanna see the cards. We all just wanna see the cards. We don't wanna take them out of the pack. <laughs> Alright, so there's our little insert card. And then let's rock on here. And see what we get. Derek Henry, materials hit. I've actually got, yeah, two pieces of fabric in there. One on either side, the dark blue, and then the lighter blue for the Titans. Whoops, that is about to, my iPad was about to go to sleep over there. That is to 95, I think that says, on the Flacco. And again, you can probably see the numbering on these better than I can see it at the moment. So if I call one wrong, I apologize. Chad Kelly to 499. Matthew and Jamal Adams. I believe they play for... They play for different teams now, don't they? Yeah, I think they do. One's a Cardinal. Jamal Adams is not a Cardinal, is he? I don't think. We'll set him over there for random anyway. Odell Beckham Jr. to 99. Aaron Rodgers in the throwback uniform. Tom Brady to 299. Rookie elitist. Mike Williams not numbered. I guess I don't think any of our rookie elitists have been numbered so far. So I'm guessing there are some numbered parallels in here, but we just haven't run across them yet. Oh, boom. All right. I'm jealous. I am right now insanely jealous. Insanely jealous of the Steelers team owner because you just pulled the Josh Dobbs on card auto that. I long for. That is a sweet hit, my friend. Sweet hit. And Josh Dobbs is, I think he's going to be really good. I mean, I, I know he needs a couple of years to develop. And he's going to have at least one behind Big Ben, assuming Ben doesn't get hurt right away. This is to 149 on the Peterman. And I think when it comes time for Big Ben to retire, Josh Dobbs may be the man. That is to 11, the Julian Edelman numbered to 11 for the Patriots. And again, you got a little bit of a, kind of a little bit of edge and corner wear on it, but nothing too outrageous. But that Josh Dobbs, yeah, that was sweet. That was sweet. Sadly, I cannot buy into my own breaks, but if I could have, <laughs> I would have been all over the Steelers. Uh, oh, Elias, you don't like Josh Dobbs. You don't think that, uh, you don't think he's going to do well. Okay, well, we'll see. 
I think Josh Dobbs is going to be a little bit of a sleeper. And you know what? He played for Tennessee, and I'm a UK graduate. So for me to say a Tennessee quarterback is a little bit of a sleeper, yeah, I believe. I believe. That is to 49 on the Deonta Foreman. Another hit for the Texans. So, I mean, I know Josh Dobbs is not ready right now today. I get that. Probably not going to be ready by the end of the season either. But I think you give him a little bit of time to develop. I think he's going to be all right. That's to 99 on the Curtis Samuel. And I do believe that he will take the reins from Big Ben one day in the, in the future. Home field advantage for Terry Bradshaw. That one not numbered. Maybe none of the home field advantage are going to be numbered. Deshaun Watson to 96. Yes, I did pull a Josh Dobbs uh, prestige auto for you. I remember that. Well, I mean, I didn't remember that I... Um, I didn't remember who won it, but I did remember pulling it. So, yeah, that one made me happy, too. This is to 99. The wrong team in Texas is killing it. <laughs> Texans have had some nice hits in the break so far. That's for sure. Tidal waves, DeAndre Hopkins. But we still have, you know, we still have a couple boxes left to go. So don't give up hope. Sometimes it just seems like it runs that way. Certain teams kind of get on a roll and they just keep on keeping on. Oh, you have the Bears, the Texans, and the Browns in another break as well. Okay, but you're doing better here? Good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I always like, uh, always like to pull the good stuff. Even though I don't get to keep it, of course, it still makes me really happy to pull it. And it gets to hang out here and visit with me for a short period of time before it gets shipped off to you guys. Which, speaking of shipping, my expectation is that this stuff will go out on Monday. There is a very slight possibility that some of it won't make Monday and that it would end up then falling to Wednesday since Tuesday is a holiday. But I don't really, I should say I don't think that's going to happen. I will just leave it with my expectation is that it will go on Monday. And if you do not have a shipping notice by Monday night, then then you know it has fallen to Wednesday. Um, but I don't, I don't want that to happen, but sometimes things come up. Right now, I'm waiting on a shipment of envelopes to arrive. Which should be here, should have been here today, aren't. So definitely should be here tomorrow. Oh my gosh, they pulled three Josh Dobbs autos in the other break. Dang on it. <laughs> Why didn't I buy into that break? Because I've been too busy. I haven't had time to buy into any breaks. Oh, it's killing me. Killing me, killing me. I've got to... Uh... Well, you know what? Everybody's going to be selling them. So maybe I... it's more fun for me to pull them for some reason. Well, I mean probably for all of us. That's why we're all here doing this. Than to just outright buy it. There's not... There's not much thrill in outright buying it, for me, anyway. So I spend, I'm sure, more money trying to hit it in breaks than I would if I just bought some of these outright. Now, sometimes that's not the case when you hit the high dollar stuff, obviously. You know, you get a much better deal with hitting it in the break. But on stuff like Josh Dobbs, where a lot of people probably aren't going to be terribly interested in collecting him right now, unless they're Steelers fans... I could probably buy it for less than I will spend on the amount of breaks I will buy into to hit it. <laughs> but it's just better to get it through the break. I just like it better. Much better. So there you go. It's going to have to be my goal. So we have um, a lot of these dual player cards at this point. And rather than take all of them to random, doing them one at a time... 
that is to 149 and going through you know 10 different scenarios on that is to 99 on base cards although maybe one or two of them are numbered we're going to do it a little differently jamal williams for the packers so the packers are on the board the nice little uh, on card auto hit so what we're going to do with, um, where is that setting over there? Set that in the wrong place, that's why. We'll put them in random in a little bit at the end of the break. And we will let random say uh, either right side of the card or left side of the card. And then basically that's how we're going to divvy up those multiplayer cards. That is to 91. And I'll show you, of course, more about what I mean when we get to that point. But I think that's going to be the way to go. This is to 99 for the Cowboys on the Tyron Smith. And that's actually a really nice piece of cloth. I like that. Got a good, solid four-color piece of material there, numbered to 99 for the Cowboys. So there you go. That's a cool Cowboys hit for you. So you can't say you never have any luck. Um, they got two. Oh, wow. So, yeah, somebody is, uh, so somebody's pulling a lot of interesting stuff, it sounds like, in another break. This is to 24, Isaiah Crowell for the Browns on the die cut. Yes, Richard, you got a hit for your Cowboys, man. You definitely, you're on the, you're on the books, man. That is to 149 with the Matthew Stafford. That's why you should always break with me. See, I'm bringing you good luck. That is to 499. Bringing you good luck tonight, man. Every night. I'm going to bring you good luck every night. Or at least I try to. That is to 499. It's actually a little bit bigger stack than I think I want to hold. Oh, this looks like a nice signature hit. And it is uh, Donta Foreman again for the Texans. So, yes, indeed, the Texans are kind of killing it. And that is a sticker auto. Not an on card, but it is numbered to five. That is two of five. So... You're not going to do a whole lot better than that. Or is that an on-card auto? I said that was a sticker auto, but yeah, it is. I think you can, yeah, you can barely see the outline of the sticker on it, but it is a sticker auto. So if you, uh, for some reason, if anybody wants any of their cards in a one-touch, all you have to do is shoot me a message over on eBay, let me know. And I'm more than happy to accommodate that. It's always going to be just uh, at my cost, plus whatever, you know, PayPal would charge us to receive the payment. But for now, for this moment, um, I've got to find the right size for that. We do want to go ahead and at least uh, get Deonta Foreman here in something, seeing as how he is numbered to five. There, and that's a little, now I feel a little happier handling him. I don't like to handle that, those numbered to five without them having a little bit of protection. That is to 499. That is to 149. So somebody says to peel the sticker off and put it on something else. Good grief. <laughs> you guys are funny tonight. That is to, what, 99. The Andy Dalton is to 99 on the fired up insert. I can't believe that you're still, <laughs> that you're still saying that you're just, that you want just the Trubisky. Come on, man. You've had like a million hits in here. That's a 299 for Tom Brady. 
You have had like so many hits and good ones. There's a deck, home field advantage. And I keep thinking some of these are going to be numbered, but so far, none of them have been. So maybe none of the home field advantage will be numbered. So we'll find out as we keep going. There's another card that's going to go over here to our random pile. Oh, with Miles Garrett on it. Nice. All right, so we have one box left. And these are leaving all kinds of little stuff everywhere so that's um when you get your package if you find a bunch of little pieces of white this and that and the other thing you'll know what it is it's uh coming off the edges of these cards where it, you know it's just the edge of the cardboard or whatever sometimes it's not cut perfectly or whatever Oh, you're a Bears fan first and foremost. Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. So then do you just sell your Texans to finance your habit for the Bears? Or what, <laughs> what happens there, man? <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, some, of the, some of the signatures are a little on the dicey side but I can't say anything my own handwriting is horrible and my signature is well it's practically illegible let's just say no one would ever be able to forge it because I don't think it could be duplicated <laughs> so yeah okay so you're selling the Texans to finance the bears well that's not an entirely bad strategy Especially tonight, because you're doing quite well tonight with your hits. So that'll buy you some Bears cards and or memorabilia. Oh, your Bears cards go all the way back to 1948. Good Luckman rookie. Wow. That's impressive. My Steelers cards do not go back to the 40s or even the 60s. But, you know, I started, I started with football cards much, much, much later. When I was young, I, I got baseball cards. That's what my cousins collected. And, uh, you know, everybody in my family collects things. We all, everybody, my siblings, my mom, my dad, everybody. So that was just one of the things I collected, baseball cards. Got into it really kind of liked it. I had fun with it, you know, and I could, my cousins were older and when they didn't care as much about their collections anymore, I could talk them out of uh, good cards for next to nothing. So it was fun. And that's mostly what I did when I was younger and actually collected baseball cards for a long time up into probably the, I'd say the, well, long time. <laughs> no sense telling how old I am, right? <laughs> For a long time, I collected baseball cards, and then I kind of got away from all card collecting for a while, and then got back into it a few years ago, and I really do just enjoy it. All right, so we are on our last box, and we have another nice hit here. This is uh, Chris Dolman to, what is that numbered, to 99 Chris Dolman to 99 for the Vikings on the impact insert. So I think that's a pretty sweet little hit for the Vikes. Who also, I don't know if, um, I don't know if Larson's Resort has the Vikings tonight or not. I'm, I'm guessing probably so because Larson's Resort has the Vikings a lot of nights. And pulled a really nice Chris Carter out of Prime Signatures the other night to 25. That is to 99 on the Corey Davis. So we've been on. We've been pulling some nice Vikings in general lately. The Adrian Peterson. I mean, it wasn't rookie autograph, but it was still rookie material. It was nice hit. And the jersey. There's an OBJ to two ninety nine. That is to four ninety nine. Whoops. I about grabbed the wrong 
Well, I guess we haven't looked through those yet anyway, so it doesn't matter which one of those stacks I grab, I guess. The die cut is numbered to 24 for the Jets with Elijah McGuire. Another home field advantage. Yeah, so none of those have been numbered, so we're just going to go with the assumption that none of them are going to be numbered. We haven't run across one by now. Eli Manning Pro Bowl material for the Giants. So there's a little Eli Manning love for you. That is to 149 on the Gerard Davis. That is to 499. Another Zeke Tidal Waves, which is a fun little play on words. Tidal Waves versus Tidal. Fired up Mariota. Well, I had it wrong right the first time, then flipped it upside down. That's the two ninety nine on the Mariota. Another. Uh, dual player that we will be sending to random and another one Mike and Marquise Pouncey that is to 25 on the Derek Carr and Carlos Henderson to 149 Signature coming out for the Chiefs. Kareem Hunt for the Kansas City Chiefs. And we will do our um, we'll do our hits recap momentarily when we finish this. And we will also go into random uh, to deal with all those dual cards. That is to 149. Another fired up, Des Bryant to, what is that numbered to? 99, Des Bryant to 99. All right, so these cards that have uh, two players on them, there's this stack there, and then I know there's uh, the one that had T.J. Watt on it, and I think his, well, the T.J. Watt, which I accidentally stacked over there, is part of this as well. So all of these play, all of these cards that have two players on them, what we're going to do is go into random and put left and right, okay? And if random comes up with left, then, you know, the card's going to go to whatever team is on the left. If random comes up with right, it will go to whatever team is on the right, because there's, you know, a handful of these, and I'm pretty sure there's at least the J, the JJ Watt one, and maybe one more over in the, in the other stack that I just didn't set aside. So that's how we're going to do those, um, and at least that way they will end up going to one of the two possible teams, rather than if we just random them all off to one person, which uh, we could do, but I think this is probably the better way to do it. Someone actually made that suggestion, I don't know, it was a few months ago, and I thought it was a good one, so that's what we've been doing ever since. And if we only have two or three, then, you know, we do them individually, but when you start getting over five or six of them, that's when it, that's when it rolls into this. So we're going to hit random three times since there are only two options in here. We're going to hit three times on the third random. That is what the answer will be. So this is it right here. And now you see we've hit random three times. There's our date and time stamp, and it came up to the right. So any of these cards that have two player configurations, they're going to go to the team on the right. So this player, this player, etc. So that's how those are going to be divvied up. We'll take a look at uh, 
our die cuts. I did set those aside so we could take another look at them in the recap. Because the die cuts are usually pretty desirable. And they're low numbered. All right, so there's our four die cuts that came out of this break. Now we'll take a look at our materials. Whoops, give me one second there. And we have Eli Manning Pro Bowl uniform material. And we have Tyron Smith for the Cowboys, and that one numbered to 99. Derrick Henry, dual material for the Titans. More Pro Bowl material, this one Julio Jones. And more Pro Bowl material, <laughs> Jameis Winston to 75. Another nice patch on that one. And then one prime numbers, OBJ. That is numbered to 13. It's for the Giants, of course. That's going to bring us to our signatures. Our nice little uh, two of five there on uh, Deonta Foreman for the Texans. Kareem Hunt for the Kansas City Chiefs. Chris Dolman for the Vikes. Jamal Williams for the Pack. That is number 249, second Deonta Foreman. Josh Dobbs, yay Josh Dobbs, for the Steelers. Kareen for the Skins. Nice Jordan Howard to 25 on passing the torch. Nice Deshaun Watson on card, of course. This is also to 49 with the Matthew Days for the Browns. Ardarius Stewart for the Jets. I'd almost forgotten about Ardarius Stewart. We pulled him so long ago. <laughs> and then this is to 99 on the Shelton Gibson for the Eagles. So that is it for tonight, guys. That is all of this half of... Uh, elite football so again look for this to go out most likely on monday possible some could fall to wednesday and there's always hope that i could get it out to you sooner than monday but i don't think it's super super likely um so guys thank you so much i appreciate you very much uh, i hope i will see you again on another break and in the meantime i hope you get good pulls wherever you're breaking and whenever you're breaking because that's what makes it fun thanks a lot we'll see you soon